Hi Blockheads, my name is Chuck Loeb and I'm a senior engineer here at Harkin and today we're going to talk about ratchet blocks. Ratchet block is a block that you use in anything that's trimming intensive on your boat like a main sheet or a jib sheet or a spinnaker. Something that's trimmed a lot and the load's high but you can't cleat it. We're going to demonstrate how a ratchet block works today using this setup where I've got about 50 pounds of lead bags on the floor attached to the head of this block. This is a 75 millimeter carbo ratchet block with a special clear side plate so that you can see how the mechanism works a little bit later on. And then I have a sheet dead end to the tube on the top and then one going to my hand. Also attached here is what we call a load cell which measures my effort into the system. So with the ratchet block, the ratchet off and the ratchet block, when I trim, I'm getting about 27 pounds, a little bit over half the load, which is to be expected. And when I ease, it's about the same. 26 trimming, 25 easing. Now I'm going to drop the load to the floor, turn the ratchet on, I'm going to trim again. I get the same expected 27 pounds of trim load, but when I ease, the load goes way down to right around 7 pounds. So that's seven pounds in my hands versus 25. The ratchet block doesn't make it easier to trim. It makes it easier to hold trim. To make the trim easier, you'll have to increase the purchase in your system. Let's talk about what happens in the ratchet block. When the ratchet block is turned off, my trim mode and my ease mode are the same because the ratchet shiv turns freely in both directions. When I turn the ratchet on, my trim mode is free, just like before, but ease mode, the shiv is actually stopped, which forces the line to travel around a stopped shiv. In addition to this, the shiv has facets or bumps, which further increases the friction. All of this adds up to a much lighter load in my hand. This is the ratchet block that we're using in the demonstration, and what is in there is this shiv and what you can see is a series of teeth around the inside and on the outside are these machine facets which we mentioned earlier that act like bumps further increasing the drag on the line. What's happening when the ratchet block is off you can see that the ratchet pawl which is highlighted in red is out of position held away from the teeth on the shiv which allows the shiv to spin freely in either direction. But when the, when the ratchet is turned on, the pawl engages with those teeth and stops it in one direction. It's allowed to pop up and over them in one direction, spring-loaded, but in the other direction, it jams hard against the shiv and stops it. And that's what drags the line around it.